Hello, I'm Stephen Mason and welcome to a, a quick random rant review of Urban Explorers. Now, um, I need to stop. Hello, I'm Stephen Mason and welcome to a quick review ran random for Urban Explorers. And the ducks just committed suicide, so there we go. Um, Urban Explorers. Now, I had this for a while and this is uncut, this video, so the duck. If anyone wants to work out the duck, someone let us know if you know what the duck's about. Anyway, Urban Explorers, I had this for a while, lent it out and I just got it back and I'm happy to get the cover back with it as well because I like covers. Um, picked it up for a pound, right, on Blu-ray and it's one of the best horror films I've seen in absolutely ages. Um, I re-watched it last night and that's why I want to quickly rant about it now. I don't want to sit there and write a review and then maybe do a fast forward review because at the moment if I did a fast forward review for this right now, it would come out next August. That's how many have already been filmed and a lot of them still need editing. Now, Urban Explorers shocked me actually i've just chucked it away and got it back so i didn't know what it was about an epic twist and tale an epic nightmare that it is sent me to creep now this sent is a good film very creepy great reveals of craig conway it's a creep um and creep as well um i thought it was a really good film um one way in no way out and i didn't know what it was about you know it's just got a picture of the guys in the back save yourself it's a nice little print around it now the thing is it says urban explorers and the explorers is an x when the DVD menu, Blu-ray screen, Blu-ray screen, came on, pinned to a swatch sticker, I was like, what the fuck? And obviously came up at the bottom with battery packs and flashing and that, I was like, okay, it's a found footage film, here we go, Urban Explorers, and it's not a found footage film. In fact, as I just cast a shadow on my face, um, it's got a lot to do, I'm sure, Andrew, Andy Fletch, Flitcher, Flitchers, yeah, did a cracking job of this. It's edited, directed, and I'm sure it's filmed by the same guy. He's done a cracking job because it's class how it's filmed. Three million pound budget, also called The Deprived. Um, but basically this film is about um, two girls meet randomly. They're waiting to meet a guy who's an urban explorer who's gonna take them on this trek around the catacombs on the undergrounds of Berlin. You meet another couple as well who are really getting nice. I mean, unknown actors, these four, and they meet the guy. And basically, it's very fast track, you know, you get to know these people quite well. And all of a sudden, it, like, it's a scene from Triple X as they enter a German um, metal club, and it's, you know, the music's proper pounding. And you've got these people going through, and they find this place, and they go down into this place, and they go, whoa, should I trust this guy to go down this hole with a key? And he says it's 300 euros or whatever and you can pay him after now they are basically going to take a two-hour walk to find a recently unearthed reboarded up um nazi memorabilia room and basically the urban explorers so basically you know one girl's korean one i think two are american i'm not sure where the third one's from maybe it's france maybe it's not sure um basically follow this tour guide they get there they have a good time it's really well done it looks really creepy there's a lot of like eeriness about when she's taking pictures and they, they meet like a like a red heron kind of who's this mad guy with a dog um acting's okay there's a bit where they later on with the guys looking down the hall and you think well like are you struggling to act there but um what was really good about it is very intense and then there's an accident i'm gonna tell you what kind of accident it's pretty brutal um and it's a, quite a grounded there's nothing over the top about this it's a, it can be an accident it's weird as well because the accident happens by it's like there's like five or six levels and it's almost like they're walking across an apartment block buried underneath the ground and i love the colors i love the camera work as i keep going on about that and like the, even the bats there's loads of up close bats and they're all like batting around and stuff like batting around it's fucking batman's party but the main antagonist we're just going to call him the tramp um he's on the front cover there i think on imdb he hasn't got any name this is one of the best castings you've ever seen for a fucking horror movie because he looks a fucking terrifying i think ron perlman crossed with caesar for he's just such a fucking absolutely like creepy looking guy to begin with it's like the creep from um eating alive with his fucking sickle fork running around this guy is so scary he terrifies you in this movie and basically he comes along looks like the saving grace and he's a fucking cannibal isn't he um is it really suspenseful creepy there's a lot of great reveals you know like when they're creeping around and you know suddenly there it then does a bit of a creep at the end where he just turns around and the fucking ending with the electric toothbrush is so disturbing 
You know what I mean? It's been left open, it deserves a sequel. Out of a lot of the horror films you get, I'm right, just going to grab a bit of Esther's here. Season of the Witch, Nicholas Cage, pff, Ron Perlman, funny enough. Um, Seconds Apart, didn't finish it. Scream 4, okay, cash in. See No Evil, yeah, that was quite a good film. Shark Week, fuck my life, never get my life back for that. Shining, an absolute classic. Solace, weird film that, have you never seen this? Sinister, yeah, see, it, fans of like this kind of because it's obviously a lot of it does happen to take place in German because the, the tramp guy is German and one of them can speak German so there's a lot of German for a while it's filmed in Berlin on location it's really well good it deserves to be seen I've never seen it to buy anywhere else so if you see it check it out it proper has you jumping it is gruesome as fuck like literally there is a scene with salt and a bit of somebody wants to be a skinner Wow, that is fucking brutal. It's brutal and it's well done. Even the bits where the camera angles running around the train station and stuff like that, it's just really, really well done. So Urban Explorers or The Deprived of it, whatever it's called, definitely check it out. It definitely needs a sequel. Well done to the director because that is made with passion. You can tell, you know what I mean? There's a couple of bits and bobs where you think, eh, really, what's going on? And it just grabs you. It totally grabs you. So yeah, that's a quick review, rant, random. Um, I would love to do it as a fast forward review, but it's just great to just do this right now amongst all the other videos I've got to do today. But I've been Steve Mason for now. Check out Urban Explorers once again. Don't know what that noise is. It might be a tramp cleaning his teeth with electric toothbrush. Yeah, powerful electric toothbrush. But definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Here's an outtake, just for that video. Just picked up the bottom half as horrors. I keep all the horrors in order. So we've got Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, American Will from London in the Bay, Blair Witch, third one, Bram Stoker's Dracula, The Box, Chain Letter, Case of Chucky, Cuttle Chucky, Dead Rising, Deep Water, Deep Deep Blue Sea, Deliver Me From Evil, The Descent Part 2, Dreamhouse, enjoyed that. Exorcist, uh, Extraterrestrial, Final Recall, Flatline, it's the forest. Wow, why did I buy that for? I want the pictures to see that. Wow. Um, Frankenstein, Fury, Good, Ghost Shark, Green Inferno, Green Room, Grizzly, House of Bones, Howl, Howling, Innkeepers, Intruder, It Follows, the AIDS film. Um, Jigsaw, Knock Knock, Krampus, Life, Lovely Molly, Mirrors, Terrifying, Mist, Terrifying, The Curse of the Mummy, The Mummy's Hand, The Mummy's Tomb, The Mummy's Curse, Part 2, Nightmare on Elm Street, remake and sequel original pandorum amazing regeneration why did i buy that for resident evil the last one rogue it's back to the season of the witch to sinister batlock murders on there sleepy hollow state land stranded texas chainsaw massacre four or five they live classic new ones out today you go and buy that triangle victim and finally voices brilliant film the void a bit overrated the Ward, John Carpenter. John Carpenter's last film. I really enjoyed that. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Welcome to the Jungle. Been a fast forward review lately. That's Cannibals again with cameras. Wolf Cop. Gotta love the Jude, uh, Jude Designs cover. Woman in Black for a 12. That was terrifying. Um, War of the Dead. Dead Wars. Oh my god. World War Dead. Rising of the Fallen. No, turned it off. Fucking zombie beavers. A lot more horrors when it comes to arrows or anything to do with the quarries or stuff like that will be misplaced or if it's a steelbook or tremors. If you want to class tremors as a horror, the first one that is. I've been Steve Mason, random rant review. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.